This is a test from almost a year ago where I demonstrate the power of the wind. This is exactly why I do these experiments is to not turn your boat into a convertible. You win again, US Department of Energy. But when the kite engine is anchored properly, it can be a wind generator. But when you attach it to a boat, we can transform that or convert it into a kite boat. Uh, we use these 500 pound um, swivels to avoid twists or any tangling in the line and more on that later. But as you see here, we're back at it and we've got a very good deep power on this uh, line or at least it's sufficient. You can see it working now. It's inevitable, especially for a boat and with a human pilot that the line will twist up and uh, you'll crash, especially when you're first starting off uh, flying. Uh, but it's not clear to me how other businesses handle uh, reeling in line uh, that's been crashed. We use this uh, industrial commercial fishing uh, equipment. And really, actually, these guys are probably the most qualified for um, dealing with high tension lines. But we came up with this solution where you pull in this clutch and the whole assembly actually rotates. This means that you can straighten the lines out uh, even if the kite crashes or uh, in the air, um, so the lines don't twist together. Uh, and this way, it's much easier to launch the kite and retrieve the kite. These lines are rated for 400 pounds each. Look at that. And snap. Those ground anchors really show how much power there is in the wind. And at first it's scary, but it's really respect. And um, because of that respect, I built this thing like a tank. As you can see, it still works just fine. And that's why we do this, we do it to test. But now we know that we can handle more than 400 pounds of a shock load. Next is extending the lines while we fly. One of the primary reasons why I developed this is to be able to let the line out from a stationary position. And if we have to unreel the spool, we might as well charge the, um, the engine at the same time. So this is a first test, um, but it's not bad. So I'm actually using a bike controller with regen capabilities uh, made by a local BC company called Grin. Um, I need to contact them about more precise control, but they're great. So there will be at least two different versions of the kite engine. Uh, one that's fully manual, and this is going to be meant more for sailors and people who want a real feel uh, of the kite, like a real road feel of uh, that kite in the air. And the other version will be primarily electric. And this electric one, all the controls you see me using, uh, you see the reel in my hand, all that will be electric, where you'll be free to control everything from inside the wheelhouse. I have been waiting 10 years to see this particular maneuver. Today we're flying 200 foot lines. That's about 60 meters. Um, in the next video we'll work on 400. And we've got a complete total capacity of about 650 feet. Before I use the big kite for that 400 foot test, we'll get another motor controller and figure out how to fine tune the speed control for the deep power. We're gonna match the rotations of the kite engine and the kite. And uh, if you're an expert on telemetry or uh, AI, um, definitely reach out. Uh, I'd love to chat about strategies to do this and uh, for automatic control. Overall, a great day testing. Um, I was able to get the dog out for a little walk. But when I came back to the car... So it's dead. Ugh, I can tell it, it's, it can start. It so can. I may look calm and collected, but really I'm freaking out because uh, it's after dark at the beach. The tide is coming in. I don't have AAA. And uh, I realize I've got this battery in the trunk. Uh, so I uh, give it a shot. Oh, and just a little small thing. These little flashlights are great. Uh, they were suggested to me by uh, REDC. Uh, definitely uh, check out that subreddit. They're always talking about how much they love their O-lights. 
Uh, and if you're listening, uh, unban me. Uh, and I promise that I will not try to sell my Mowall smart wallet. It's actually kind of cool. Everyone likes it. It's got good reviews. And there you have it. A car jumped by renewable energy. If you happen to know anyone that you think would be interested in this project, God. or if you yourself <laughs> are, uh, please let me know. Uh, stay tuned. We will fly uh, 400 foot lines next.